welcome we will start with some basic questions and then go in detail first question what is batch failure investigation process broadly we can divide this process into five steps step 1 investigation initiation here identifying a batch failure through routine testing or deviations is done step 2 data collection in this step we gather the batch records deviation reports and related data step 3 root cause analysis here analysis of the data to determine the underlying cause is done step 4 corrective actions here we implement steps to rectify the issue and final step step 5 preventive actions here we develop the strategies to prevent recurrence of similar kind of incidences what are the different types of batch failure very common and very basic type of failure is quality related failures which includes contamination incorrect potency or impurity levels second type is process related failures which includes deviations in manufacturing processes improper handling of apis semi finished goods or finished goods third type is equipment related failures which includes malfunctioning of equipments or calibration issues fourth very important type is human errors which includes incorrect documentation or process deviations how the data collection and review is done in batch failure investigation first way is through batch manufacturing records that is bmrs review all batch related documents second quality control data examine results from in process and final testing third deviation and incident reports analyze any recorded deviations fourth interview obtain input from operators supervisors and qa personnel fifth environmental monitoring data assess any environmental conditions that may have affected the batch why batch failure investigations are important in the pharmaceutical industry batch failure investigations are crucial to ensure product quality safety and compliance with regulatory requirements they help to prevent defective products from reaching the market and ensure the integrity of the manufacturing process a structured approach to identifying root causes and implementing corrective actions is essential what is root cause analysis that is rca in batch failure investigations rca is a structured method to identify the underlying reasons for batch failures the various techniques that are commonly used in rca are fishbone or ishikawa diagram 5y analysis and fault tree analysis in fishbone or ishikawa diagram we categorize the potential causes like materials methods machines manpower and environment second type is five wise here we ask why for multiple times to dig deeper into the cause and third very important technique is fault tree analysis or fta here we do the visual representation of failure pathways what are the common root causes for batch failures in pharmaceutical industry first very common root cause is material failures that is usage of raw materials not meeting specifications second process deviations which includes errors in manufacturing steps or failure to follow sops third equipment failures which includes poorly maintained or malfunctioning of equipment fourth human errors which includes inadequate training or lack of attention to detail fifth very important root cause is environmental issues which includes temperature humidity or contamination in the production areas what are the corrective and preventive actions that is kappa for batch failure investigations corrective actions are immediate steps to address the current batch failure example reject batch or reprocess corrective actions are taken for restoring compliance and preventing the release of defective products whereas preventive actions are long term measures to prevent recurrence of similar kind of incidences example sop updates or additional trainings further post implementation of kappa actions effectiveness monitoring of implemented actions is done what are the regulatory considerations for batch failure investigations first compliance with regulatory guidelines fda that is food and drug administration ema that is european medicines agency and other global regulations require proper documentation and timely reporting of batch failures second impact of batch failures 
batch failures can lead to product recalls delays in product release or regulatory audits documentation requirements thorough documentation or investigation reports kapa documentation and updated sops are mandatory for batch failure investigations how do environmental conditions affect batch failures deviations in temperature humidity or cleanliness can impact product quality potentially causing batch failures why is stability data important for investigating batch failures stability data helps to determine if product degradation over time contributed to the batch failure conclusion or take away points batch failure investigations are key to maintaining product quality and regulatory compliance a robust investigation process ensures identification of the root cause and effective corrective actions kappa implementation is essential for continuous improvement and avoiding future failures regular reviews and updates of sops equipment and training programs are critical don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry